Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni. Cass is here to help me. We're looking a little bit deeper into the three parts of the transverse abdominis. So we can almost think of these as three separate muscles. Remember, our upper abdominals, that is always gonna be musculature when we're talking about transverse abdominis in this area. And at the belly button level, it could be fascial or musculature. And then at the ASISs, it's always going to be fascial. So we looked at in the last video how to really cue into the upper abdominals. And we talked about that um, a lot of people who have too much extension constantly in their thoracic spine and kind of have this habitual rib splay really need to bring their upper transverse online. So you would do the thumbs in and apart you as the teacher keep pulling the tissue apart, so you add that tensioning into the linea alba and into the rectus sheaths. For a lot of people who don't have their deep system fully on and or have something like a diastasis, um, they're going to need that tensioning in all or one area of their transverse abdominis so that you can start to feel if the lateral abdominal of the transverse abdominus is really working. So ideally, if you are a teacher who feels comfortable with the touch cueing, then this moving into the layers of the muscle tissue and then giving a little bit of pull apart and then asking that the client try to bring the thumbs together towards the midline can really help them to start to integrate those deeper hugging muscles. Now, at the belly button level, you do the same thing, but you wanna go to the, the lateral sides of the rectus abdominis, right? So you would go wide-ish, right, um, across from the belly button. You ask them to be in much of a neutral pelvis as possible. And again, you're moving through the skin right, until you hit the external obliques. And you wanna become aware of what size feels a little bit tenser, right, just take inventory. And then you go a little bit deeper into the internal obliques and then a little bit deeper into the transverse. And then from there, you add a little bit of tensioning. And from here, I'm gonna have Cass take an exhale and I want her to try to imagine that the tissue moves in and across. And what you wanna watch out for here is that you don't want the tissue bulging into your fingers. Good, and I wanna see a nice fascial line being created. Excellent, good. And then we have the ASISs, right? So medial of the ASISs, and we have our EO, our IO, and then deeper into the transverse. So especially at this level, we might need to release some of the internal obliques. Um, and if you ever get a chance to take our diastasis rectus abdominis course, you'll learn in a deeper way how to find all of these different areas and release what you need to release <laughs> so that we get a, a fuller, symmetry of contraction on both sides of the transverse. So again, I'm going EO, IO, TA. I'm pulling this apart. And here we can pretty much be sure that this is going to be um, aponeurotic at the transverse abdominis. So I'm gonna ask her again to take an exhale. And I can either cue her to allow the tissue to move away and across from my fingers, right? Or, good, go ahead and relax. Or I can cue her to imagine that she could pull my thumbs together towards the midline. Nice, and relax. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.